Hey friends, my name is C, and you're watching here, Mr. Easy. And welcome to the new video for IGCSE Advanced and today. We have to review some examples for the integration or the integral of trigonometric functions or trig functions. And we'll start off with some basics, but before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that miss out on any future videos. And we'll start off with some basics for trig. So here's the integration or the integral of trig functions. So on the left side, we have the differential or like the derivative or the differentiation. And on the right is integration. So we know that from, uh, from sine x to differentiate sine x, you'll get cos x. That means that the opposite is true for integration. The integral of cos x is equal to sine x. And for number two, minus cos x, the differential of it, you will get sine x or the derivative. That means the opposite is true for the, inter for the integral of sine x will be minus cos x. So if it's minus sine x, you will get cos x because the sine will change. Like the, the symbol, the sine, not like the, inter not, not like the trick sine, but the symbol like plus or minus. And the third one, tan x, the derivative of tan x will be equal to sec square x or secant square x, 1 over, 1 over cos square x. And the opposite is true. For the, uh, for the integral of, si uh, of sec square x will be equal to 10x. And these are the three trig functions that you need to know for at maths, so don't worry about other functions, but these are the three that you need to know. And here's more for the trig functions, but with ax plus b. So we know that for, um, like the, on, the left, on the left, we have the differential or like the derivative. So we have 1 over a sine ax plus b. So what we have to do is that we have to, do, we have to differentiate the bracket and then times the coefficient, right? So this would be a, so a times 1 over a will be 1, so it would be cos ax plus b. The opposite is true for integration, where, we, where when we have cos ax plus b, you will have to differentiate the bracket and do 1 over like the coefficient over the, diff the derivative of the bracket. And then you also have to remember to differentiate, sorry, you have to integrate the trig function. So we have two things going on here. Number one, it's this, um, the trig function, cos the sine. And number two, the coefficient. So it's the same as um, sine and sec, where like a secant square. So like sine will become cos, like minus cos, and do one over the, uh, the derivative of the bracket. And same for sec squared ax plus b and 1 over a, 10 ax plus b. And we're going to move on to some examples for integration of trig functions. So number 1, integrate 3 cos x minus 2 sin x. So 3 cos x, oops, 3 cos x minus 2 sin x dx, like so. So it will be equal to the first one. Remember that to differentiate cos x, it will just be equal to sine x. And then there's no coefficient, so we just leave it as it is. So it will be 3 sine x. And to check your answer, you can basically just uh, differentiate this one right here. So differentiating 3 sine x will give us 3 cos x, which is what we have here. And number 2, uh, uh, integrate minus 2 sine x. And remember that when we differentiate sine x, you will have to change the symbol. So it would be a plus, and then the constant just becomes constant, and then cos x, cos x, and plus c, because it's indefinite, like so. And to check this, differentiate 2 cos x, you will get minus 2 sine x, which is what we have here. And question 2, integrate 3 sine 2 minus x. So I would rewrite the, the symbol, so in the bracket, to become 3 sine x minus x plus 2. So remember that when we differentiate uh, sine, you become minus cos. So let's just put a minus first, minus. The, the, the coefficient, which is 3, will say the same, 3. But you have to do it over because we have now we have an ax plus b. So differentiate the bracket, you'll get minus x plus 2. Differentiate it, it will become minus 1. So the coefficient over minus 1. So minus 1 and sine becomes cos 2 minus x, like so, and a plus c. But because that we have two negative sine, one from the sine to cos, 
and 1 from AX plus B, that means that those two minus cancel out. So it will result in 3 cos 2 minus X plus C. Like so, and that's the answer. And then moving on, we have integrate tan 2x. And because we haven't covered tan, we'll just modify the question to become integrate set square 2x. So that's the new question. So integrate set square 2x. So we know that if you differentiate tan, it becomes set square. So the integral of set will be tan, right? So because we have an ax plus b in the bracket 2, the differential of the bracket, which is 2x, will be 2. So the coefficient over 2. The coefficient is 1, so it will be 1 over 2. And remember that if we integrate sec squared, it will become 10. So it will become 10. And then the bracket remains the same as 2x plus c. Like so. And the last question where we have both a coefficient and the ax plus b, but in a more complicated form. So integrate 5 sine 2x. So first thing first is that we know that if we integrate sine, it will become minus cos. So let's just put a minus sign first, minus. And then the 5 over something because it is an ax plus b. So the over something, the denominator, we will derive from the bracket, the differential of the bracket, the derivative of the bracket. So to differentiate the bracket, 2x is differentiated, you will get 2. So it'll be 5 over 2. And if we differentiate the, um, if, so if we integrate the sign, it'll become cos, as I mentioned. So it become cos, and then the bracket remain the same, 2x plus c. So now I can just rearrange, uh, rewrite it in a new color, minus 5 over 2 cos 2x plus c. And that's the final answer. And the integration of trigonometric functions is basically like this. It's quite simple, but you just have to know the different rules that, in, that are involved in integration. For example, when we have ax plus b, or when we have different trig functions, where maybe you have to simplify or not simplify, and you have to make sure that you get all the symbols right, like your minus and minus will cancel out, or if there's just one minus sign. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this rules and examples video for IGCC and Math. So today we look into the integration of the trigonometric functions or trig functions. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you miss out on any future videos. And if you have any questions regarding this video or any like feedback about my channel, my YouTube or my Instagram, you can drop them off in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemisseasy.com. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be questions for the integral or the integration of trigonometric functions. But until then, stay safe and happy learning. Thank you.